Um, so the Pentagon today <clears throat> said on Thursday that it was ending the ban on trans men, transgender people uh, being able to serve openly in the military. Um, I wish I had an applause track. I promise you I will have my applause track back next week. But this is great news. So um, finally, the LGBTQ community, particularly the, the transgender community, will be able to serve openly in the uh, in the military. And, and you know, what, what can you say about this, right? If you're willing to serve in our military and you're willing to put your life on the line, the bare minimum, the very bare minimum that America should be able to do for you is to allow you to be who you are at a bare minimum. Uh, so according to CNN, the Pentagon said that it would be ending its transgender ban, um, s allowing transgender people to be able to serve openly in the U.S. military. Um, the announcement, which removes one of the last barriers to military service by an, any individual, was made by De Secretary of Defense Ash Carter, uh, Defense Secretary Ash Carter, who had been studying the issue for almost a year. The decision comes as the military was has witnessed major changes in the role of women and the inclusion of gays, lesbians, bisexual and service members in use and bisexual service members in recent years. So, it, again, this is a culmination. I, I think it's something to celebrate because if someone is going to put their life on the line for this country, the very bare minimum we can do, like I already said, but I'm going to say it again, is to allow them to openly be who they are. And all of the fear that all of this unfounded fear that somehow this was going to harm the efficacy of our armed forces, um, they studied it long enough to determine that it won't.